right, let's keep it going with the live reaction film breakdown right here. We're in the film room, man. Y'all see we got the coach's shirt on. We ready to go. Colorado 45, TCU 42. Time to run them little clock likes up. Here we go once again. We got these two receivers at the bottom, Jimmy Horn Jr. and Travis Hunter. You know they're super threats right here, these two guys. Then you got Xavier Weaver at the top, Mikey Harrison right here in the uh, tight end position, H-back, Dylan Edwards right here. Boom. This is the same play we saw Travis Hunter get a pick on that TCU tried to run to the other side. We'll get to that play in a minute. But right now, let's focus on what Dylan Edwards has right here in this matchup with these guys are going to just get confused right here. They're not on the same page. I don't know what they practiced or what they came out and what they were supposed to do, but they're not on the same page. Let's go to the snap right here. Boom, there's the snap. Is he going to get Dylan? If he is, he should have stayed with him because he faked like he was going out, and then he went in and, and basically was a magnet and got blocked, so he became a rusher. If he's supposed to take Dylan, he got caught up in this mess right here. Watch Hodges. Oh, yeah. It's time to run them like sup. Here we go. Boom. For some reason, he felt like he should get a hand on Jimmy Horn Jr. right there instead of going to his man. He's pressing. He's going over the top. He's trying to follow his guy. He's waiting for somebody. Man, Shador Santa sees this already. He makes the read right here, and he's already ready to throw. He's not waiting to Dylan try to, oh, he might be open. He might come open. He's making the read like a quarterback is supposed to. He knows right now that he's going to Dylan Edwards. And that's why this play works right here. Simple. Shador Sanders, beautiful throw right there to Dylan Edwards to make the catch. This guy's still running with his guy. He's caught up. He's like, oh, I pressed him like Coach said. But, man, you got to get out there and try to cover Dylan Edwards. Even if he didn't try to get the hands on that wide receiver right there, Jimmy Horn Jr., I don't think he would have been able to cover <laughs> Edwards anyway. Look at there. It was wide open, dog, all day. Touchdown City. That was number one on the day for Dylan Edwards. Shador Sanders makes a beautiful throw, easy catch for, for the young freshman to get going. So, here we go. Move on to the next play right here. We got defense. I think this might be the pick, yeah? Boom, there it is. That quick route right there. A lot of people got different names for it. Call it the wiggle route, a stick route. Boom, but he makes that move right there. We broke this down earlier. You saw Trevor Woods over the top. You got the linebacker robbing underneath. Anything coming here, quick throws, he could pick that off. Any crossing routes, he can pick that off. He probably get a, a jam on a receiver like you saw Hodges do right there, and that's what he'll be there for. These guys manned up. Travis Hunter out here, leave him alone, let him cover. Play this side, Trevor. Play this side. Quarterback is going to try to look you off and go there. We got men on him. Boom, it's wide open. Bam, that's exactly what he tried to do, playing that play right into their hand. Three-man rush. Everybody's dropping. Trevor Woods over the top makes the play. You still have to make the play. Defensive coordinator can call it up, but you got to make the play. Y'all, You guys out there wondering, yes, defenses do call plays also. And here's a nice play right here called up by the offense that TCU defense should have been able to stop Stop based off of alignment and assignment if they were aggressive, but nothing doing. Manned up out here. Uh, the big defensive end, 97 here. These guys were big, but they were not aggressive, uh, and, and it did not sustain throughout the game. They got they became tired, you know? These linebackers became punked out. Big Bishop right here. Look at him. Straight out the N.O., he coming for all the smoke right there at the linebacker, at the uh, fullback spot, coming over from D tackle number 95. Watch the action. Wham! I'm talking about Pancake City. Woke him up. Good morning. Now he know that it is live. We are live today. This is not a practice. Shador Sanders action. He got the big pull right here from the tackle. That's GCL, right? Bam, the fake right here. Or the handoff. He can give or he can keep. He makes the call. He sees that outside guy there. He gives it. Bishop clears the lane. Wham. Same thing. These two guys got what my coach used to say. Got that shirk in them right there. Watch this from this uh, aerial type view right here from the drone view. Beautiful. You're going to have Big Jack Bailey cutting his guy. Van Bam Wells manning up on this guy. Y'all talking about this offensive line wasn't big enough, wasn't strong enough? <laughs> they proved it on this play. Um multiple plays throughout the whole game they they proved that it was bigger 
big enough and strong enough right here. Just watch this. Boom. Boom. Look like Passarello right there. Big fella coming around. Boom. He got that shirt in him. Big Savior uh, and Washington clearing his side right here, along with Big Jack Bailey, Jack Wilty. Clearing that side right there. That's supposed to be national championship winner ups. Winner up, and uh, they're supposed to be, man, they got to be better than that, don't it? He's supposed to be coming down in here. That's his gap he's supposed to be filling. He's supposed to be coming down hard. Wham. He's supposed to read that right now. I've been in this position right here, and I know I played against Thomas Howard, used to come down with that big head, play for the Raiders and UTEP. He would come down and have no mercy. He would tell you, I know you're coming right here. This is my gap. You're not coming through it. But Bishop Thomas claimed that gap from the get-go. Boom. Double team right here. Nice. Beautiful double team right there. Look at that movement off the ball. Shield right here by Van Van Wells. Cut right there by Jack Bailey. Here's the pull by the tackle. As we talked about earlier in the preseason, that in this offense, you're going to have a lot of tackle pulls. A lot of offenses have a guard pull, but these guys have tackles that pull and block down hard and then bring in a big defensive tackle to clean up things right there. Jakob, woo! Couldn't get no better than that, man. That's Pancake City. All he needs is some syrup. And he saw his boy get cleaned out. He was like, nah, you got a big six foot ten running at you and the baby battering ram running at you. Seal right here, seal right here, seal right here. He can't get over the top. Beautiful block right here. He's chasing. Touchdown, City. Savior Wilkerson walks in. He ain't want none of that smoke right there from Big Tank. <laughs> they say he couldn't do it in the, uh, what is it? In the in the Power Five. He came from the HBCU. Man, please. Football is football. You understand? If you can play, you can play. So y'all stop hating. Here, Jace Feely. Big Jace, way downtown. Banging on him. Right in that bottom left corner of the up of the upright. Watch this right here, though. Let's look at this blocking scheme from this offensive or, or the special teams um, field goal attempt. It's just a different format from what I'm used to seeing. Usually these guys are locked legs and blocked down. They'll block down. They'll block down. They'll create a, a um, pretty much an angle that this guy just can't get by. Right? This guy be out just a little bit more. He'll be blocking down. Always protecting his inside. And right here, it looks like he's trying to protect his outside. Give up the inside. And that's what gets the pressure each time. And they saw this. This is how they um, the field goals were blocked in the, in the spring game. I'm sure they saw this on that tape. And they brought that pressure from this side right here. They brought that pressure. Look at there. They brought that pressure right there. They knew that they can get a block right here, as they did. They knew that they can get something right here up that, pre up that middle. They didn't change that as a special team unit. So these guys here. They're protecting inside. He should be blocking down. He should be blocking down. Creating that corner, that long corner right there. He can't come out off of the end and make that play because of the timing of the snap and everything. Boom. Way downtown. Bang on him, Jace Feely. That's going to be all day, man. All year long, they're going to be kicking these long field goals. And Feely and Mata is going to be... <laughs> exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, let's go back to offense right here. We got four wide receivers. Actually, we got three wide receivers, a former wide out, and Mikey Harrison now playing tight end. And uh, that's what Coach said. Don't call him Mikey. His name is Michael. I'm not going to call anybody Mikey who I want to be a, a bad ass, he said, on the field, blocking and everything else. So we got basically four wide receivers, one running back in the backfield, where are we going right here? This is live reaction. I haven't seen the plays before. Boom, there's that screen right there. Oh, my gosh. Elusive, Dylan. That was get him the ball. He recognizes what he has. He knows he got the big offensive lineman coming out there to block, so he dips back inside, uses those blocks, picks up one there. Here's one coming out right here. As I have Cyrus in the background, boom. Dylan Edwards is just elusive right here. This is, this is the difference, as you can see, where I'm watching on YouTube right now. You can see this is the difference in being just picking up a first down, whatever, and being elusive and smelling the end zone and finding a way to get there. That's what he did right here, Dylan Edwards. Uh, dipping on him. Just that enough of a block right there 
all of that just is enough, is enough to get him loose, and he just dips out. These guys continue to block. Good job by Xavier Weaver. Turn your head up, Jack Bailey. There you go. Now Dylan dips out right there. Bad angle by 15. Some reason he thought he could run through Jack Bailey. 24. That's your effort. All right. Well, I'm going to ride out then. If you watch 57 from the get-go, this is why Coach Prime and them have those pursuit drills where you run after the ball. Hate to call you out, player, but the eye in the sky don't lie. Let's see here. Let's watch 57. Where is he at? All right, he's up here now. He's like, up. Oh, somebody's going to make the play. Somebody else is going to make the play. Somebody else is going to make the play. Oh, nobody's going to make the play. Somebody else is going to make the play. Somebody's going to make the play. Oh, nobody's going to make the play. Nobody. Oh, here I come. Oh. See, that's why you got to be full speed at all time, Coach. And that's what happens. That's what happens. That's the difference in the ball game right there. A uh, little bit of a hole right there, but you're not going to call that. They wanted it, though. Call the hole. Dylan that was sh turns on the speed now. Dips out. Uh, makes a move. Get back inside behind his blockers and turns up the field. One tackle broke. Bro. Call that a touch. And he just dips out. Now speed takes over. Dylan Edwards. Now watch this play. This is the same play Excuse me, that we saw earlier. All right? Same play that we saw earlier. Do I have that? My bad. Put that back there somewhere. Sorry about that. All right, let's go. 